No? All right. Uh, lady in the second row here was first up. Uh, Bridget, Professor Bridget Laughlin from University College Dublin. Mr. Farage, I'd like to commend you for your frankness this evening. It was very refreshing and it exposed to us precisely why you were here and what you were up to. And I say this as an Irish citizen and a, a voter in the referendum. You are here so that to encourage us to vote no, to create a platform within your own political system, so that it, under a Cameron-led government, you can actually bring, as you said, European integration or the European project to a halt. The word halt was used. Your frankness is commendable. But can I tell you, you also have an extraordinary lack of sensitivity and knowledge of Irish history. You said that we exchange subservience to the United Kingdom to subservience to the ECB and the European Union. Nothing could be further from the truth. The person who stood in the GPO on the top was Sean Lamas, and he was the person that brought us in to the European Union. He was the person who established our first application for membership. Why? Because he was an Irish nationalist and he knew that in the EU pooling of sovereignty was much, much stronger for a small state. And you may laugh and jeer at Sean Lamas, but you're wrong. The other agendas that are running here, and there are two other from the United Kingdom at the moment. Open democracy is coming to, open Europe is coming to this country during the week. Open Europe is very clear on the kind of EU they want. They want a looser, a la carte Europe, and they want us to create the conditions for that to happen. Uh, and there's also the Trade Union Unite. The Trade Union Unite is a, basically a British trade union where if you press on their website, Ireland is listed as a region. Can I ask you to wrap this yeah. up quite quickly? I, yes, um, I will indeed. We do not want to become a region of the United Kingdom again. We want to be at the heart of the EU. And what is extraordinary is that you and Sinn Féin are on the same side on this. Uh, it is to the detriment of this country. And on foreign direct investment, I'm very struck. You have no standing on the Irish economy. Uh, Mary Lou Macdonald has no standing on the Irish economy. The, 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 the employer of the largest number of people in this country, Intel, Jim O'Hara, the managing director of, Jim uh, of, of Intel, the largest employer in this country has said that it is absolutely imperative that we vote yes. Okay, so many I thanks. think we need I, I to give, remember I want to give that. Nigel Farage very, a, a, a quick I, I, opportunity to respond. And, and by the way, if, if people could keep their questions brief, uh, we haven't got that yeah. long. Well, I, I, I assume that you're a Monet professor, are you? Pardon? I assume that you're a Monet professor, are you? Yeah, I carried that time. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. So here you are, talking about honesty and frankness. Wouldn't it have been rather better if before your question you declared an interest in this and explained to these people that you are one of the many academics throughout the universities of the European Union who is effectively paid to indoctrinate people with a certain line of thinking that we have to adopt a European... I mean, come on, you talked about a... Let's have a bit of honesty. It is... It is and it's, and it's, a, it's a classic symptom of where this European Union has gone wrong, that the attempt to indoctrinate children very, very, at university is... is, is I, I, was, I was right there, wasn't I? Mmm, I've never seen anything like that before. And with any luck, I'll never see anything like it again. No! <laughs> Play it again. Oh, right. <laughs>